Hi, my name is Amy Reich. Um, I chose to analyze the movie City of God, made in 2002 and directed by Fernando Morales and Katia Lunt. This movie takes place in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. Um, Rocket, a photographer from the slum, takes us through his story and many other stories that connect with his. I would love to be able to um, give you a full in-depth about this whole movie, but I don't have time. And I would, I'm going to stick to the scenes that I found most interesting and that stuck out to me, and I'll analyze those. Um, first, I'd like to point out that this movie um, is a cynical action movie, um, where the beginning of the movie actually takes place at the end, and it has many little different stories between it, and I loved how the directors did this. City of God starts out with many fast-paced clips put right next to each other. Um, one of the clips is showing a man sharpening a knife, then a chicken who is breathing very heavily, than men who are preparing carrots. So it goes sharpening the knife, the chicken sharpening the knife again, um, uh, peeling the carrots, then it goes to the chicken breathing again, then the sharp knife, and then chopping the carrot up into pieces. Um, the directors do this as a metaphor that the carrot is the chicken, and the chicken is scared of being cut up and uh, uh, eaten. Um, the directors do this because it's a lot more appealing to see a carrot being prepared than to actually see a chicken being prepared. The chicken escapes from um, being eaten and we cut to this scene where we meet little Z. He's yelling at the children and giving them guns to go chase down this chicken. That's where we see how corrupt he is because he's giving these children guns and we see how corrupt his neighborhood he lives in is. Um, as they run after the chicken, they get into this alleyway where Little Z's gang's right here, and they run into Rocket, his friend, and the chicken um, in the middle. And then on the opposite end, the cops show up. So in the middle, Rocket is torn and has nowhere to go. He's stuck there. He's torn between crime and what's doing what's right. And I think that's a metaphor for the whole movie because he's surrounded by crime by living in the slums because his brother was notorious for causing crime and robbing people. And his dad was always looked down upon his brother, and he ran this fish shop, and uh, Rocket didn't want to be in the fish shop. He saw these two options as, like, his only way. He didn't want that. And when he saw the camera, he that's what he wanted to do. He wanted to be a photographer. So there's these buildings, like, around him that he could um, get to. And so when the fight does break out at the very end of the movie, he does run into those buildings. And I think that's him running to running away from the two options, you know, uh, from crime and doing what's right, but he's going to his own path, and he's saying, I want to do this, and I think that's a really cool um, idea that the directors used in this movie, and I don't know, I just thought it was really cool. Just real quick, I want to talk about how the directors use uh, silence in the city of God to have the audience think about what's actually happening in the movie. Like, when it's showing the dead bodies in the hotel, I think that it used silence because we need to think about and process how this happened. And we, from there, we get a hint that it actually is Little Dice who killed those people. And I think the directors use silence because it's a good life lesson to know that we need to be silent sometimes and take things in. And I think that's really cool that they used that. So that was my analyzation of the movie City of God. I hope you enjoyed hearing my ideas and my thoughts about the movie and what the directors did. So thank you for watching.